Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 4 Let's Build. As you can see I am not underground today. I am here at the hub. I did not have time to record an episode for the railroad build and um, I already had this uh, recording of this hub build kicking around waiting its turn so I thought I'd just post this today instead. I figured it was better than nothing, right? And I'll try to have another railroad build uh, next Monday, okay? So, um, I recorded this a while back and I'm just doing the voiceover uh, right now. That and so I just wanted to show you the new border for the, the settlement because the settlement, the mod that I have that increases the settlement limit um, increases it for all the settlements and uh, including this one. So, um, these white posts are the new settlement border. It, it, it exposes the entire pond to build around, whereas before it just had like the very edge over by the house. So now I can build stuff next to the pond. And also goes all the way out to the road, and I am going to go turn off the weather. <laughs> so today we are going to be building a water purifying shed sort of thing <laughs> because I've been I haven't actually done anything like that built anything like that in this settlement yet um, I just had all these water pumps scattered everywhere and whenever I got new settlers I would just uh, bring a new one you know just plop out a new water pump you know whenever they complained about water and I thought, oh, this is kind of dumb. I'll just, I'll just go ahead and finally build a water purifying shed. So that's what I'm going to do today. And it's going to be, oh, I don't know, a little bit, a little bit scrappy, but mostly not scrappy because of course, you know, Shane, my character, he wants this settlement to be as pre-war as possible, you know? not not a scrappy settlement he wants it to be a nice looking place so we're gonna try to make it nice looking but there's gonna be a little bit of glitching going on just because of the way I'm des I've designed the thing so yes so I'm going to be using some medium-sized water purifiers cuz or I guess small well medium so I don't know if you consider the one that doesn't have to be put in water the one with the, the cement block on it is smaller so I think of that one as the small one and this is the medium sized one and I rarely can ever build the large one because I never have enough components or something <laughs> but the medium ones are just fine I think for some reason I can't scrap that car that's in the water I don't know why it's kind of annoying I, I was able to scrap all the other junk like, have you noticed, there used to be garbage floating, like, papers and stuff. And, um, there's not now. I was able to scrap it with the scrap anything mod. Or the scrap, scrap everything. I don't know, I don't remember what it's called. It's in the link. I mean, the link for it's in the description below if you want it. <laughs> anyway, I decided I was going to make it a little bit bigger. After I already placed everything down. About like that, I think. A little bit. I have to move it over a little bit because the edge is clipping into the ground there, and the, so then the wall won't go on, right? Move that over. Now, I'm going to try to do some Q&A like I usually do. It's just I don't know if it will be as easy because I'm doing a voiceover instead of uh, talking while I'm building, so. We'll see if I can do Q&A at the same time. It's an experiment. It might not work, and it might. So just let me know what you guys think of the way I'm doing this video compared to the way I usually do them. Um, yeah, this is the first video that I am that I recorded in advance and then voiced over later. So that I wouldn't have to build something twice, because I usually build something to figure it out because it can take me, you know, an hour or three hours to figure out something. And then I take it all apart and rebuild it while I record and talk to you guys. And then it doesn't take me as long to build it because I already know what I'm doing, right? But I hated having to build the thing twice because sometimes it wouldn't go together 
I, you know, I explained this in last week's episode. Um, I was just explaining it again for people who might have missed last week. Anyway, so this is the first time I'm doing it this way, and I hope um, you guys like it. Um, it's I'm, I'm still not I'm still on the fence about whether I like it better or not. We'll see how it turns out in the end. Yeah. All right. So I thought maybe I would just add a third. A third one, because well, it would fit, right? And we could definitely use the water, I think. So, I'm going to read um, the next question on my list that you guys have asked me. So the next question is, what's your take on all the hate Mass Effect Andromeda has been getting? Okay. Well, that's a topic that can go on forever and spark lots of discussion. Um, I think some of it is, was definitely expected and, I don't know, maybe even partially deserved, <laughs> but some of it is, most of it, let's say, most of it is outright, um, uncalled for. I mean, I, I don't, uh, I don't think that a game developer deserves the amount of hate that they usually get. Um, people are very quick to jump to judgments and complaints. And, you know, a lot of them are founded. I mean, Mass Effect Andromeda shipped very unfinished compared to other um, games from the same developer, you know? Bioware has made some really good games in the past, fresh out of the gate, and Mass Effect Andromeda, of course, didn't live up to some of those, and so, well, mostly it was the animations, um, the bad quality of the animations, and I get that. It was, it was disappointing, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't think it was enough to justify, like, boycotting them or saying that, you know, they're a bad developer or anything like that, any of that hate that they've been getting, I don't think that that that, that justifies it. Because Bioware is still a really good game developer, and they still re make really good games, and Mass Effect Andromeda is a really good game, despite some flaws that they have been fixing, actually. And, you know, does it live up to the previous Mass Effect games? Does it, does it feel like Mass Effect? I, I haven't played the whole game yet, so I don't know. I know it doesn't, it feels more like Dragon Age Inquisition than it does Mass Effect in the same way that Dragon Age Inquisition didn't feel like Dragon Age. But they're still really good games. So, I don't know. I never think that hate is justified for any reason, really. That's just my opinion. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, here I am. So I made this two and a half sections wide. So I have to put in a little end piece. Like, I wanted to make it match as close as possible. I wish they had vertical half-sized metal pieces. I don't know why Bethesda never thought to make half-sized wall pieces that actually snap on and go with the rest of because you could definitely use it. They have, if you have a half-sized floor piece, you need a half-sized wall piece, right? Am I right? Yes, I'm right. <laughs> I know for, PS, uh, for PC, they have a mod that lets you get half-sized walls. <laughs> Of course, we won't be able to get those on PS4, but it should have been something that was in the vanilla game. <laughs> Anyways. So, now, of course, I went and built all this thing here. And then, now, here I'm trying to contemplate the roof and how the roof is going to go. And I decided I need to kind of redo the walls because the roof I want won't work in the configuration that they are. And I have to move the door over. Because I want to make the roof slanted, which means I have to put half size walls this side. And they don't make doors in 
the half size walls, so. Which is another thing I wish they did. <laughs> put a door in a half size wall, and then put, like, put the lower half of the door in the half wall, and then put the upper half of the door in the slanted part that has the roof, you know, for the, for the roof. Yeah, they should have made one of those too. I really wish I had one of those. Anyway. I'll answer another Q&A question. So the next one is, have you ever thought of using the Workbench Anywhere mod for a player home as we don't get the Conquest mod to make extra settlements or would you use an extra settlement mod? Um, well, I have thought of using one. Not a Settlement Anywhere mod. I don't really like that idea. That sounds a little bit dangerous to me. I don't know if it is dangerous, but just a mod allowing you to build a settlement anywhere, to place a settlement workshop bench anywhere, sounds a little dangerous to me. Potentially. Oh, here I decided I was going to put a great floor instead of solid wood floor. Over the water. I just thought it would be better. Anyway. Well, I've considered getting a mod that like will make a certain area into a settlement. Like, um, uh, the West Everett Estates or whatever, you know, they make, you can make that into a settlement. Like, there's a mod that makes just that into a settlement. Or just another certain area, like the um, General Thomas Galleria, you can turn that into a settlement with a specific mod. And so, like, if I wanted to build in any of these areas, I can just get the mod that allows that one area to be a settlement. And that sounds a little bit safer to me. Just in regards to... I don't know. I don't know a lot about how the mods are made and how they affect the game, but just the idea of you placing a workshop down anywhere you want and then suddenly you have a settlement there. I don't know. That sounds risky to me. That's... I don't know. Maybe it's not, but I just want to be better safe than sorry. So I have considered getting a mod that just will turn one area into a settlement for you and then you can build there. But I haven't decided which one. Um, or what I would build there, and uh, you know, I'm currently building something in two different places, like here at the hub, plus the the railroad thing, so I don't know, maybe. If I don't any get any other ideas, you know, by then, <laughs> by the time these are over. Of course I do have the other idea, I was gonna do um, Murkwater construction site, I think. Somebody gave me that idea. But we'll see. If you guys think I should build in any places like like West Everett Estates for instance or that other estate that's outside of Diamond City it has that cul-de-sac and it's all those houses where the Yaogwai hang out I can't remember what it's called anyway there's a mod to turn that into a settlement too so anyway let me know in the comments down below if you think you would like to see a build at a you know, modded location so yeah looks like the water purifiers are too tall. <laughs> I was hoping it would just snap on anyway, but it's okay. so I have to go lower them or push them over. I have plenty of room to push them back a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. And then the the roof just goes right on. Well, this part anyway. I do have some trouble with the middle part. And of course, you know, you can probably notice that there's a lot of cuts in this um, build here because I cut out all my fumblings and I stand there and stare at it for a long time trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I cut that part out. <laughs> when I cut out any ideas I had that didn't pan out and that I just redid because you know, what's the point of showing it to you if I'm not even keeping it, you know? It took me, like, I don't know, I think it took me about two and a half hours to build this. To, to be, you know, without any cuts. So, they wouldn't fit on, so I'm lowering them now. I'm lowering them a little bit, I'm moving them back a little bit more, and I'm lowering them. And of course, this one right here, 
doesn't want to lower as far as the other two for some reason, so I have trouble with that one too. <laughs> and this actually, this particular roof still wouldn't go on anyway, so I decided to put this pointy one on. It's peaked roof. And that one works just fine. Gotta get the right one. There we go. And this one still wouldn't go on for some reason. Well, because this water purifier wouldn't go down as far as the other two. So it's just sticking up like an inch higher than the other two. And that makes all the difference. So I tried lowering it with um, the pillar. <laughs> but that didn't work at all. So I just trying to put it back in. And every single time I tried jumping up in there, it would grab a wire instead, and which caused me to drop the purifier. And I'm like, wait, where'd it go? <laughs> and so then I would pick it back up again and jump and grab a wire. And then, oh, okay, we'll try that again. And so I was finally, <laughs> finally so frustrated. I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. I'm going to build a porch so I don't have to jump up there anymore. So that's what I'm doing now. It needed one anyway, though. You know, I just... I was busy doing the roof and didn't want to have to stop in order to build a porch, but whatever. <laughs> and then... Then I'm able to do it. Of course, I didn't put stairs, so I still get... Okay, now, so then I can put it in there, and I managed to get it to go down lower. It keeps wanting to pop back up, but I managed to get it down, and it, it did okay. Go figure. Sometimes the first time you try it, it doesn't work, and then you try it again, and again, and again, and again, and like the fifth or tenth time you try it, it finally works! <laughs> So, there we go. Alright, I'm going to answer one more question, I think. I don't know if I have time for all of them, but I'm going to try to answer at least one more. Um, first, though, the roof... It's a full-size roof, but it's going on a half-size section. But it goes underneath, and it, I feel like... I don't know. It kind of makes like a cool little attic-y kind of shelf thing right there. So I thought, no. Eh. Why not, right? <laughs> Alright, so the next question is, will you get Far Cry 5, and if you are, will you build stuff there too? Can you build stuff in Far Cry? I've never actually played any of the Far Cries. My husband, Mr. Dovahkiin, he played Far Cry 3, and that's the last Far Cry uh, game I've ever actually seen any gameplay of. So, can you actually build in them? Can you build in Far Cry 5? I haven't heard that you can. If you can, then yeah, I probably might. <laughs> but no, if you can't build in there. I haven't actually had a desire to play Far Cry. It's... I don't know. It's, I've I watched Mr. Dovahkiin play Far Cry 3 almost all the way through, and I it just didn't look like the kind of game I wanted to play. I know that they're probably all a little different, but again, they're probably all going to be very similar, just because it's Far Cry, so. So, probably not. <laughs> Anyways, I'm putting on some supports, because, you know, don't want it to look like it's hovering over the water. And we're just about done with this thing. So, this will be it, I think. I think I'm pretty much done with it. Of course, you know, I'm going to decorate it, but you'll see that in the next installment of Let's Build the Hub. Not sure when that will come out, because probably next time I'll build the railroad build next week, if I can, if I have time. <laughs> anyway, you guys, there we go. It's, um pretty much done. Oh, I need to do lighting, or I need to wire the thing up. That's what I'm going to do next. I remember now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wire it 
up so get some lights in there. The wiring is kind of finicky actually at first. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, I'll answer one more question. I think we have time for one more. Which British Fallout 4 builder do you like better? No respawns or real-time commanders? You know what, I don't think I've actually ever watched any of uh, real-time commanders videos. Um, I've heard of him, them, real-time commanders, uh, them, I don't know him. I never actually watched any of his videos though, I think Evil Viking 13 has mentioned him a few times, so that's probably where I've heard his name. Anyway, so I can't honestly answer that question since I've never watched Real Time Commanders. But you know, of course, everyone knows I like No Respawns. I mean, he's the one who really got me inspired to do really good settlement building because before I watched No No Respawns, um, I just would build these little shacks, like almost like prefab ones. I just plop a prefab shack down and put a bed in it call it good right that's probably what most people do but uh, when i saw no respawns i was like whoa you can do stuff more than that <laughs> so anyway so i'm trying to connect these these things together but it's clipping through the rafter support things so i couldn't get it to work and I couldn't get the right angle to do the wire glitch. So and then I tried this, and it still wouldn't connect. What? What's up with that? There's no obstruction, and it still wouldn't connect. So it's like, what in the world is going on here? So I got to do some wire glitching and just a big pain in the neck, but it all works out in the end. <laughs> so I can't get a good angle to do the wire glitch. Up into the ladder to do it. There. Wire glitch it through the wall, see? And then use this conduit. To connect it to that one, except of course it's clipping through things. So gotta do the wire glitch. <laughs> I always try to do the normal wire stringing first, just to see if it will work. And uh, if it doesn't work, then I do the wire glitch. I don't know, I suppose I could wire glitch things uh, by default all the time. It just always work, but sometimes it's actually hard to do it because you can't get the right angle to do it. You know what I mean? Anyway, there. Then just wire glitch the rest of them together. So now they're all. Sorry it's so kind of dark in here, but you know, I, didn't, I didn't think to turn on my pit boy light because I was, I mean, it wasn't too dark for me while I was recording it, but now that I'm watching the video later, I'm like, wow, this is kind of dark. I should just turn my pit boy on by default when I'm recording a build video, even if it's outside in the daytime, right? <laughs> you just don't notice it when you're doing it yourself because you can see just fine. Anyway, there, all of them are loaded and wired and running and lit up and now you need some lights here. I have one more question to answer, and it's going to be very quick, because it is one I've answered before. But I know everyone hasn't watched all my videos, so I'll answer it again. The question is, are you ever going to finish the Vault 88 build? <laughs> I can't count how many times I've answered this question in videos and in comment and in uh, comments in the comment section. Yes, I'm going to finish it someday. I don't know when. I haven't had time to work on it since I moved because I'm so busy making other videos every single day for you guys to watch. So, <laughs> yes, I am whittling away at it slowly when I have free time, which is almost never. So, I'll just upload it when it's ready and. Honestly, you guys are so eager for the tour for that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there we go. That's it. Even Ladies and gentlemen, water. the water purifier shed. What do you think? I know, it's not amazing, but 
it's something, huh? Anyways, that's it for this video, and I would like to thank all of you guys who who gave me some Q and A questions. Um, here you are. Thank you for for that, and give me more because I'm completely out. So if you want more for the next episode, give me more and uh, tell me how you liked this video down in the comments. And be sure to follow me on social media for news and updates on me and my channel. And if you would like to support my channel, follow the link in the description below to my Patreon page where you can become a patron and support me. Anyway, I will see you next time, guys. Remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye.